Welcome back to Odoo. Since I need to save as much time as possible, I will configure my e-commerce strategically by managing my catalog prices properly. Of course, doing this also offers other benefits as it will ensure that my clients are satisfied. In a cutthroat world such as e-commerce, it's essential to know what I'm doing with my prices, promotion programs, or price lists. That's why managing my website catalog prices is vital. Some of my customers live in a different country than where my company is located, with a different currency or various taxes. With well-managed catalog prices, I can allow my customers to choose their own currency so they don't have to pay the conversion rate. It's something that could entice them to buy my goods instead of the goods of my competitors because I'll make them save time and show how interested I am in them. Moreover, they will know exactly what they need to pay in a glance. I will use Odoo for this. All I need to do is set everything up once and the rest is automated. After this, my e-commerce will do the work for me. So let's see how we can set this up right now. All right, so here I am on the back end of my website application. I'm gonna go ahead and jump into configuration settings. And once I'm on my settings page, I'm then gonna select invoicing on the left side and scroll down and look at the option line subtotal tax display. Now here we can decide if we would like to display tax excluded or tax included prices. I've selected tax excluded prices because I want my customers to see what portion of the total is going to taxes. However, many businesses, especially those in Europe, would like to have tax included prices to so just know that those are here. So now let's imagine that I have some customers that are actually tax exempt. Um, in fact, my company, Selfie Wood, is located in the U.S., but I sell to a lot of Europeans. And since they are outside of the country, they are tax exempt. So I'm going to create a fiscal position that um, Odoo will use to recognize my European customers and be sure that they do not apply my default tax. So I'm going to go to my inv invoicing application, okay, then configuration, fiscal positions, and I'll create a new one. I'm going to call this um, Europe No Tax, and I'm going to select this option Detect Automatically because, of course, I want this um, to automatically apply to those that fall into this category or fall into this fiscal position. So I have a couple of other options. I have the VAT required option, and I can also say that I would like to use Tax Cloud API. Now, if you have a business in the U.S., this may be um, particularly useful for you um, because the Tax Cloud API generates taxes um, based on your visitor's location in the U.S., so based on their state or their region. All right, and we can also select what country group or country this applies to. In this case, it's Europe. Okay, and we're going to um, then specify the default tax that we have on our products and what it should then become for the people who are in Europe. So on most of my products, I have the default tax of 21%. So I'm going to go ahead and select that here and say that the tax to apply for my European customers will then be 0%. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this and go to the front end and see what it looks like when my user who's from Belgium uh, falls into this fiscal position. All right, so we'll go to our website. And once we're on our website, we'll then go to our eShop, of course. And we're going to purchase a product that does have that default 21% tax um, because that's what I have specified on the fiscal position. Okay, so let's choose this drawer. I'm going to add it to cart. Okay, and once I'm here, you still see the taxes. Um, and we, first of all, we see the taxes because I have a tax excluded subtotal. Um, but also we have the taxes because Odoo needs to go to the next step, which is the address, to see that, in fact, this customer um, falls into the fiscal position of having no tax, of being tax exempt for this product. So when we go to process checkout, and notice that our total is over 4,000 now. When we go to process checkout, it takes us to the next step, which is the address. And then Odoo says, oh, yep, that's right. They're out of the country. They're in Europe, in fact, so we won't apply that tax. And then the total will be the total without the tax. All right.
So that's a really convenient tool for you and your customers, of course, and it also prevents you from doing a lot of manual intervention and exempting each specific customer from taxes um, when they shouldn't be applied. So now that we have this fiscal position, let's go ahead and create some price lists that apply to our website. So we talk about price lists in another video, but price lists are um, prices based on certain conditions or rules, um, perhaps on customer segments, um, whatever you define them as. So let's go ahead and apply one to our website. So the first thing I'm going to do first um, is return to my cart and remove this because we're going to purchase some products again later. Okay, and I'm going to go to the back end of our website application and I'm going to go to our price list. So product price list. To have this option, you need to go to configuration settings. Be sure you activate the option multiple prices. This is based on formulas and you also need to activate the option discounts also on the settings page. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on this and edit. So this is our public price list, which I already had created. And um, once I have discounts activated in configuration settings, I will have this option right here, discount policy. So I can decide if I would like to include the discount in the price, or if I would like to show the discount to the customer or show the public price to the customer. In this case, I do want to show it because I want my customers to see exactly what's going on, exactly where their money is going to. Okay. We also have this option to add a promotional code. We'll talk about that more in just a minute. Okay. We can say if it's selectable, which in this case it is not. We can specify what website we would like to, um, uh, where we would like to apply this um, price list. We can also add country groups if we would like to, but this is my public price list, so I'm going to leave it the way that it is. And of course, we can add some price list items. So let's add a line. And I want to add a discount to um, a certain product. Okay, and that product will be my drawer. Okay, and I would like to say that um, for everyone who's visiting the site, the drawer has a 10% discount and I can add a start date and an end date to this um, discount. And I can also say it's after a minimum quantity, but I'm gonna go ahead and save this the way that it is. Save again. And again, I wanna point out that the customer will see this discount. So let's go ahead to the front end of the website and see how that looks. All right, so we're gonna to go to our website. Okay, and then once we're on our website, we'll go back to our eShop, of course. All right, we are on our eShop now, and I see that that discount applies here to the drawer, and I see it right away when I'm looking at the product catalog. So that's just super simple and easy. Now let's go ahead and see what it looks like if I were to have a promotional code attached to this price list. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go back to the back end of our website application and then go to price list one more time. Okay, so once we're here, I'm going to edit and just add a promotional code. Since the discount policy already applies, the uh, promotional code will apply when they go to the checkout. We'll see that in just a moment. Um, and I just want my customers to have something tangible to see when they um, have this price list or when they see this price list and discount so that it isn't just for nothing, but it's actually related to a promotion. So we'll go ahead and say 10 to win. Okay. And save. Now let's go back to our, the front end of our website. Okay. And we're going to go to our eShop and we're going to purchase that drawer where the 10% applies. Okay, go to the drawer. And then we're going to check out as soon as the page has loaded, add it to our cart. Okay, we're redirected to our cart. And what's really cool is that we see that code right away. So there's no need to hit the apply button because of course the price is um, included and it's showing to the customers, but they can see that it's actually related to this promotional code. And I also don't have tax applied because the computer remembers that my user is from Belgium. So they're still falling within that fiscal position.
And that's all for this video. Thank you for watching.